Campus is winding down for a fall break, but a strike could be ramping up. Plus, it's a month for pink and coming out. All that and more right now. Thanks for joining us on SUTV News. I'm Isabella Marcelino. And I'm Marshall Keeley. <laughs> President Jody Harpster met with students Tuesday evening for President's Hour. Students questioned Harpster about the impending ABSCUF strike, and he voiced his uncertainty regarding the outcome. Harpster said in his 21 years at Shippensburg, strike threats have arisen five times, but this is the first time a strike date has been set. The president concluded by saying days missed due to the strike will be treated like snow days. ABSCUF is set to strike on October 19th. Shippensburg representatives of ABSCUF faculty met with students on Wednesday to discuss negotiations and the possible strike. Students filled the Dolphin lecture room to hear the professor's side of the negotiations. ABSCUF leaders talked about the Harrisburg rally last week, fair wage negotiation, and what students at other PASHE schools were doing about the possible strike. The importance of having and keeping full-time professors was a major talking point. Students addressed their concerns at a Q&A portion of the talk. ABSCUF leaders stressed they don't want to strike, but are prepared to if they don't get a fair deal. And despite the potential strike, the homecoming committee is determined to keep events on schedule. The student organization has a week full of campus competitions and getaway themed events. If there is a strike, the homecoming committee will still have all their events at the same time. So uh, next week in the amphitheater, we will still have our PR events from 11 to 3 every day. And the following week, all of our competitions will still go on. The King and Queen will still be crowned at Seth Grove at noon on October 28th, even if the homecoming game is canceled. The candidates for president have one last chance to face off in their last debate next week. Their second debate was on Sunday. The debate was fierce from the start. Donald Trump was looking to defend his position following the release of an audio clip of Trump making vulgar comments about women. Hillary Clinton, meanwhile, was under considerable heat during the debate for her email scandal. Both candidates discussed various topics in foreign policy, taxes and trade, as well as health care. While both campaigns claimed victory at the end of the debate, a CNN poll taken after the, the debate shows that 57% of viewers felt Clinton won the debate, compared to 34% with Donald Trump. The final presidential debate will take place on October 19th. On Tuesday, supporters of the LGBT movement came out. It was National Coming Out Day, a day of pride for the members. October is LGBTQ History Month, which is different than, than Pride. Um, so it's very much about where we've come from, who we are, and, and, um, and telling our stories. The members of LGBT recognize people with different identities and want to make the community aware. In recognition of Domestic Violence Awareness Month, students from Shippensburg Social Work Department hosted a discussion on Title IX and self-defense training. It's important to get some kind of knowledge because not only are you going to learn how to defend yourself, but you're also going to gain a confidence in yourself that you might not have had. Resources on Shippensburg's campus offer assistance and counseling. University police also offer a self-defense class on campus. When we come back, students drag hundreds of bras across campus on purpose. And it made money for a good cause. We'll tell you all about it. If you follow the cause, it's not hard to spot when it's October since everything seems to go pink. Pink has become the cultural symbol for breast cancer awareness and October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. 
Pink is making a splash around campus for sure. Reisner served pink food and a hairspray fundraiser painted pink to raise money for cancer research. And Chip hosted the first ever Bras Across Campus event. Darby Sells has the story. Organizers collected bras over the past month in preparation for Monday's Bras Across Campus event. The Feel Your Boobies campaign rolled into Shippensburg to host the first event as part of a national campaign. So I think from a professional standpoint, it's great to do something new on campus. This was a very powerful message to bring to our students, so I was really excited to have someone approach us and ask us to play such an important role in their, um, the start of something new. The message being, you are not too young to get breast cancer. Over 1,200 women are diagnosed every year under 40 years old. I think everyone thinks they're invincible at this age, so um, to just show that you know there are young people being diagnosed with this condition, that um, it's important to take it to heart. SUTV alumni Julie Ratcliffe and Holly Hard created a documentary showcasing survival stories of young women to remind college-age women how feeling your boobies can save your life. So I understand on a personal level how this can impact young women and what they can do now to lessen their chances of getting breast cancer or encouraging them to feel their boobies so that they could f come to a diagnosis much sooner and have a better chance of survival. In an act of solidarity, the event concluded with a bra chain from all the bras donated to the calls, and the chain was so long it didn't fit in the NPR. For SUTV, I'm Darby Sells. The original goal was to raise $500. SHIP raised over $2,400 to go towards finding a cure. Toyota recalls new Prius models. And tragedy strikes in Wenzhou, China. Here's your world news. Tragedy struck Monday when four apartment buildings collapsed in the city of Wenzhou, China. At least 22 people were killed. State-run Xinhuao News says rescuers pulled six people out alive from the wrecked buildings, including a young girl who was shielded from the rubble by her parents. Authorities say they're trying to establish why it happened. The automaker Toyota launched a global recall of its 2016 and 2017 Toyota Prius sedan vehicles. They say there is a possibility the parking brake on those models could stop working, causing the vehicle to roll away and cause a crash. Toyota owners involved in the involved vehicles will be notified about the recall starting in November. Owners of the vehicles should take the cars to their nearest Toyota dealer, who will fix the problem at no cost to customers. Australia's parliament is almost certain to vote down a national re referendum on same-sex marriage, potentially delaying marriage equality in the country for years. Though it backs same-sex marriage, the left-wing opposition Labour Party formally announced Tuesday it would not support the government's planned national vote. They say a public vote is unnecessary, too costly, and would trigger decisive public debate which could negatively affect young gay and lesbian Australians. This has been Charles Franklin with the World News. Have a great break, Ship. Come back, see how one makeup giant is changing the industry after 60 years. Also, pop some popcorn, grab a blanket, and sit down for the annual 13 nights of Halloween on Freeform. Well, it's been rather pleasant this week. A little rain, but not too much to complain about. Nope. Let's send it over to Rebecca to see what the weather's going to be like for this fall break. Hey, showers fool you. We are looking at a sunny weekend. Tonight, a low of 41 with cloudy skies. Tomorrow, the sun comes out with a high of 62 with a low of 40. Let's take a look at our five day. We are looking at a warmer weekend. Saturday is looking sunny with a high of 66 and a low of 46. Sunday continues to warm up with a high of 71 and a low of 57. The start of the week brings partly cloudy skies with a high of 76 on Monday and Tuesday. Have a wonderful and safe fall break, ship. Let's turn the page onto this week's entertainment. If you're not headed home for fall break this weekend, then you should come down to the Lore Center for The Price is Right Live. This is Right Live is literally the live touring version of what you would see on television. The performance will actually um, hit all the famous games that you would see on the television show. They'll have Plinko and Cliffhanger and the Wheel and the Fabulous Showcase. So it's going to be identical to what you see on television. Prizes will include household appliances, vacations, and possibly even a car. The showcase begins tomorrow at 8. Ease midterm stress with a dose of comedy. 
stand-up comedian Robin Shaw takes the stage tonight in the Cub NPR. Robin was one of the top five standout comics listed by CBS.com. You've seen her on TV on The Bethany Show on Fox, The Little Couple on TLC, and most recently on Live at Gotham at AXS TV. Robin also appeared in ASAP Rocky's music video, Shaba Ranks, doing nothing else but eating cake. With Robin's two comedic web series, Health and Fitness, podcast and her stand-up, Robin aims to help the world feel happy. The show starts tonight at 9 in the Cub NPR. Cover Girl has a cover boy. They announced their first male model on Tuesday. Hey, I'm living out one of my biggest dreams. That's right, I am a new Cover Girl. 17-year-old Instagram star James Charles is Cover Girl's first male ambassador. Charles appeared beside Katy Perry in a campaign photo. James will start out as the face slash lashes of the brand's latest mascara launch, So Lashy. Charles will also be starring in an upcoming TV ad, according to his Instagram post. Whether you like popcorn or candy corn, grab the snacks and cozy up for Freeform's 13 Nights of Halloween. The Halloween Movie Marathon runs October 19th to Halloween night. Hocus Pocus, The Addams Family, Sleepy Hollow, The Goonies, and The Corpse Bride are all parts of the prime time movies. Classic animated characters like Scooby-Doo 2, Monsters Unleashed, and Disney Pixar's Toy Story of Terror make their appearance too. That's all for entertainment. Have a fun and safe fall break. Sports is up when we come back. For the first time since 2013, Shippensburg Field Hockey is ranked number one in the nation. And another student athlete takes first place in assists. It was a record-breaking week for senior volleyball player Mara Nolan. Nolan came into the season third in all-time career assists for Shippensburg after a stellar performance last week against East Stroudsburg in Kutztown, tallying 61 assists and winning PSAC Central Division Player of the Week. With the previous record holder in attendance and only a few assists shy, Nolan put on another memorable performance, finishing the day with 4,481 career assists moving into first Shippensburg history and into ninth place on the PSAC Career Assist Record Book. For the first time since their national championship in 2013, Shippensburg Field Hockey was voted number one in nationals. We're on our back that we have to focus more on things that we need to work on to make everything from practice what we work on into the game. Ship is back in action this Saturday at Mercyhurst. Ashley Weaver was named PSAC East Women's Soccer Player of the Week. Weaver scored two goals to help defeat Seton Hill 3-2 and one goal against Mercyhurst in a 2-0 win. Pushing the Raiders record to 8-6 on the season, Weaver has five goals this season, matching her career high of five in a season. The Raiders will host Clarion this Saturday at 1. The Shippensburg Raider Wrestling rolls into a new season. Josh Charles has the story. The Raider Wrestling team looks to improve on its 10-8 record last season led by senior captains Ethan Ramos, Dante Stefanino, Carl Leitner, and junior captains Mike Springer and Mike Hafer. Um, everyone stays healthy and uh, not a lot of injuries and everyone just kind of stays to what we're doing. I think it'll be real good. We have a lot of uh, Pretty good kids coming in and uh, some transfers, so I think we'll be pretty solid. The Raiders are a relatively young team, but returned three NCAA qualifiers. Carl Leitner qualified for nationals in the 2014-2015 season, while Ethan Ramos and junior Adam Martz qualified last season. The Raiders look to dominate with the help of incoming freshman Billy Barnes, returning sophomore Dustin Stefanino, and junior Cody Blankenship. Dante Stefanino aims to end his senior year with a trip to the NCAAs. Uh, the expectations come in as always, you know, just uh, go out, wrestle your best, um, hopefully make it to regionals, um, go out, just go to nationals, make it to nationals, obviously priority number one. The Raiders will travel to Landisville, PA for a tri-duel with Gardner-Webb, 
Drexel in Sacred Heart on Saturday, November 5th. For SUTV Sports, I'm Josh Charles. The Shippensburg Wrestling Team's first match will be against Waynesburg November 7th at Highgis Fieldhouse. That's it for sports. Let's head back to the desk. That's it for SUTV News. I'm Isabella Marcelino. And I'm Marshall Keeley. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at SUTV News. And check out our website, SUTVNews.com. We'll see you next time.